might be like meant to stagger them temporarily or something, but. Look at all the officers, chat. All skimping on duty. All clear, Estevez. That leg doesn't look good. Feels even worse. But thanks for saving the rest of me. We should talk. What happened here? <laughs> Where to fucking start? Ugh. All right, to wait for the buff to kick we came in. To too, check what out are you talking about? alert at Cauldron Lake, but it's worse than we could handle. Real boondoggle. The police, my own agents, most were invaded before we could even react. Have you found my partner, Agent Casey? Yeah, we found him. Out in the woods. He had a close encounter with the Shadow, and it did something to him. Is he okay? He's alive. We took him down to the morgue for an examination. Haven't heard anything since the attack. What did the FBC come here to do? Bright Falls is the site of a recurring altered world event. The Shadow is stronger than we expected. We're low on resources. Problems at HQ. But we do have equipment for dealing with the shaded threat. We were just caught off guard before we could set it up. Where is Wake? I know what's going on here. Wake can fix this. Alan Wake is a para-utilitarian. The word's a mouthful, so you know it's serious. We have him locked up in the holding cells per protocol. He's connected to the Shadow in some way. Estevez. I need to see Wake. How do I get into the cell block? Okay. <laughs> Protocols don't mean that much at this point anyway. Don't make me regret this, Anderson. Until the power's back on, the door to the holding cells won't open. There's a fuse box downstairs in the basement. Here. I'll need these keys. Back into the morgue, huh? Fantastic. Of course, we have to go to the creepy fucking basement again. Holding cells. Is that where they're keeping Wake? Door is locked, though. No, oh, no, dude. <laughs> well, there's the fifth gun. Emergency incident report the lake house, which was facility WA03 at Cauldron Lake. Um, Washington has been compromised. Case unknown. The incident was visually confirmed by Agent Estevez when she visited the facility to take uh, to make contact with Dr. Marmont and Dr. Marmont as of operations at the lake house. The facility itself is reported to be in a damaged state with no living staff found during a brief search. A longer search was not possible due to an active AWE in the area requiring all available resources. Investigation and containment not possible with current personnel. Emergency dispatch of response and rescue staff is requested. The investigation department has no knowledge of the lake house's recent research or projects due to worsening communication and cooperation since HQ went dark. As a result, this report cannot under, uh, determine the incident's cause without further investigation. Refer to file 9233-3215 for full incident report. Research proposal, Alan Wake and Cult Connection Summary. In 2010, writer and suspected para-utilitarian Alan Wake was reported to have disappeared into Cauldron Lake. A non threshold site. Three years later, a small group responsible for multiple killings was arrested in New York City by federal investigators. The murders were recreations of deaths found in the writing of Fallon Wake. Interrogations with the murderers revealed they saw Wake as a sort of prophet, describing themselves as his cult and considered his novels to be sacred texts. As Wake was missing at the time, it's unlikely he had any personal involvement with the cult. At least there's no evidence supporting the idea. Soon after the New York cult was attained, an organization known as the Cult of the Tree began operating around Cauldron Lake. The same area, Wake disappeared. This is now the second organization branding themselves as a cult with a direct physical connection to Alan Wake operating in the location he was last seen in. I propose this is not a coincidence um, and would like permission to search the link between Wake and Cult of the Tree, C file, blah, 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 for the full proposal. Revolution for the brain. Experience the time and other neuroscience breakthroughs. 
Memory loss, the battle to regain your mind. UFO Myth and Reality Part 3, Tricksters and Falsehoods. UFO Myth and Reality Part 2, Communion Testimonies. UFO Myth, uh, Myth and Reality Part 1, Under the Lens, Author Quincy. Don't forget, A, B, C, D. have bag space for this? The answer is no. Looks like. the jet we nailed the puzzle good job everyone high fives all around inventory full ah yes there's the last cold stash right there I don't get it. So the the code was the letters of the alphabet here. If it ever loads back in, it just counts to ten and then restarts. So you get ten, ten, and then six. And then these three books: part one, part two, part three. I took the first letter of the author. So Q was seven, B is two, W was three. Oh, there's a shoebox downstairs. Nice. I'm gonna pop some pills to make room for more guns. I if that is indeed the uh I was going to creepy land for a second. Let's also fire the sh I, I assume it's gonna use the same shells. So let's fire the shotgun. What happened to this? Wow, well, these people are just sleeping on the job. There's a monster threat here. Not reload the shotgun so we can put that one Anderson. away, assuming they use the same you. ammo. Have you had our frequency this entire time? Eavesdropping is a big part of the job. But no, I got it from your partner. Anderson, look for a fuse to replace the blown out one in the fuse box. That should get the power going again. Yeah. On it. Where is the shoe box? Wait, the shoebox is full, though. Oh, my God. But we're just gonna literally have to trash some stuff. The problem is, chat, a real source of this inventory issue, I'm just too fucking good at the game. We don't need to use a lot of this stuff. That's all it is, baby. But, uh, what's going on with the lighting? There we Cult boxes. The hell am I looking at? A key? Please. 
That's new. What a joke. What a joke, dude. What is this? Fucking puzzles for horn you? Trash that. Uh, what did she do? Trinkets. What I was really hoping was in the last one was actually uh, the last bag slot. That would have been ideal. Uh, what else can we delete? These, so these one stackers. Why can't you delete these ones? No oh, weird. Should be enough, maybe. I assume it'll be four. Creepy morgue hallway with a new shotgun. You should buy a bunch to get the space back from the coffee cup charms. I, mean, I don't understand what the point of those is, really. Outside of a hardcore run, which they don't have implemented in the game. I guess you could do your own hardcore I'm run. I'm sure Sheriff Breaker wouldn't mind you like this. Stop right there. Uh, I guess we got all the weapons. Semi automatic, good stability, capable of high sustained damage. Carry both shotguns just for a second. Just want to empty these two shells. And do they share? Yeah, they do. Okay. They do indeed share the shotgun shells. Uh, the lighting here is bugged out. Yeah, I'm getting a little leaky again. I have to have a quick game restart chat. It happens. Wait, the key. We're already to get the key. Let me log back in. We didn't get everything with that chest yet. So I think we got everything except for... Like, we got all the stashes and all the lunch boxes. I think we're still missing a couple of um, the nursery rhymes. Somehow. Just got off work. Any mind blowing revelations today? Uh, if you haven't watched since yesterday, uh, I mean, yeah, there's been a bit. Like, we saved Tor from Cynthia, we killed Cynthia. Tor revealed a whole bunch of shit to us about our past and our mom and stuff. Um, I guess we have spent a fair bit of time looting and looking around. That was probably the biggest thing. And now we're going to see Casey and Wake in the police station because they were taken by the FCB. But the police station has been invaded by Taken. So we're on the case. Yeah, I don't know where the bag slot upgrade would be. It must just be, I don't know, somewhere. That wasn't in a cult chest, because we just got the last cult chest. Pretty sure. Okay, it's closed. That's all the stashes. These people were well prepared. Yeah, it ain't in a stash, that's for sure. 
don't know why it says all the stashes, but I don't know, it's because we just didn't put this picture here. That's done. Yeah, we're, we're missing one nursery rhyme in each area, apparently. But those give charms, those don't give bag slots. And lunch boxes are done as well, okay. That's where this key was. Bruh. God damn it. Ugh. Um. I'll just use this. Oh. Lighthouse key. There it is. There it is, brothers. So let's immediately leave this area and go to the lighthouse instead of doing anything else. Haha, <laughs> only kidding, kind of. Wait, we didn't even need a spot for the key, but we will. Tigero, thanks for the 41. Oh boy. I'm a man, not a boy. Ah! Manly scream, of course. Bags are full again. Well, these aren't gonna need these. God, there's so much shit, dude. Friends? You okay? Casey! Oh, it's Casey. Is that you? Anderson? Hold your fire! I'm coming in! Injury report. Alex Casey, FBI. Description of injury. Subject seems physically weakened with some uh, confusion about his whereabouts and events. Concussion. Similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to shadow suspected but not confirmed. Physical wounds are minimal. Light abrasions. Possible mild concussion. 7.30. Continued observation shows no signs of increased aggression in subject. Subject remains aware and coherent. Starkly different progression than other victims. Reasons for exceptional result unknown. Less severe exposure. Subject's resilience. Intention, intention, intentionality. There it is, Jim. On Shadow's part, requires further examination testing. Hey there, buddy. Long time no see. Hey, Anderson. Like what I've done with the place? <laughs> hmm. Could use a bit more glide. <laughs> Funny. How are you holding up? Ah, don't give me that worried look, Anderson. It's just a, it's a flesh wound. <laughs> Gave me a chance to have a, a nice chat about ex-wives with uh, Kieran. Uh, Agent Estevez, I mean. Making new friends, uh, huh? I'm jealous. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's the situation on your end? Hey, profile. What happened at the hotel? Wake was telling the truth about the cult being after him. The thing, the dark presence, it's real too. I saw it. A fucked up monster cloud. Wake is the tried reading to difficulty warn me. set to hard? Yes. It knocked me out. My, my. FBC found me in the woods later. My brain reads words faster than my mouth can pronounce them, and that causes me to. Water really turned out to be a good lead. Found the clicker. And the cult. Bro, but the horror story like is changing die, reality. Dude. Like Wake said it would. Logan, she's, uh... The story claims she died here. But we can stop it. Wait, Saga. What are you, um... Logan is gone. What? She has been. For a long time. Uh-oh. Casey's affected by the horror story, too. Is he, or are we the fucked one, dude? I'm fighting for them all now. I'm gonna fix this, Casey. You, Logan, all of it. I just need to get the power back on first. Yeah, give him hell, Anderson. Just remember, some things in life can't be fixed with a light switch. 
As for the power problem, here. I found a fuse on those poor bastards there. I'll take care of it. Stay put, Casey. I'll let you know when it's safe. I'm not going anywhere. <clears throat> Uh, yes, Good it's so news, well lit now. News. You can get to the cell block now, but the shaded hostels that were in there are on the loose. Thanks for the heads up. What the hell? Flashlight. See, maybe some help. Where'd it go? Situation is under control, Estevez. Coming back up. Copy. Paste. Oh, my favorite kind of box. Empty. One more behind us. Somewhere. Is it in this room? No. Eh. Where box? See no box. I think it was reporting this thing. That's exactly where it is. Alright, I mean, for what it's worth, I don't know exactly like we fucking need more shit right now. The bags are full AF. I'll wait here. Shotgun and go. Wookie dokie. Uh, oh my goodness. There are so many loot boxes here. Are there though? It's not like she's showing them. Or sorry, the, the map shows them, but they don't. I think we're phased. I think it's because we're phased. Like there's supposed to be three in this room. I didn't see a single one. All right. Oh, that's so safe. Wait, first let's get the old shotgun out of the 
Uh, the bag's here. Might as well put, you know, something useful. I'm not sure what. Flashbangs. Bag space like you lack hair? Yeah, there's a bit. It's like the hair. Anderson. What? Over here. Got a little cramped in that closet. What's going on? We had a hell of a time avoiding those taken. Ended up back here. Anyway, I wanted to warn you that we have the Coscula brothers in the cells as well. They're the ringleaders of the cult of the tree. Don't let your guard down. Is the FBC sending any help? <sighs> we were the help. Well, us in the lake house. But we still have bureau gear specifically engineered to fight this threat. It's stored in the back lot. We were setting it up when the Taken interrupted us. We have light arrays, a containment cell, etc., etc. We are not out of this fight yet. She's got a jet. What's at the lake house? It's a bureau research facility at Cauldron Lake set up to study the effects of this AWE. When I got into town, I went there for backup. The whole station is lost, taken by the shadow. Lost a lot of agents. Barely got out myself. Yeah, wish me luck. According to the luck and probability department, it's statistically bad luck to wish people good luck during a crisis. Thanks. <laughs> Fucking nerd, dude. Saga. Oh shit. Dude. Fucking FBI, FBC, you government fucks all fucking this up for us. Let us the fuck out. You're the leaders of the cult. You're not going anywhere. Wake will ruin everything. Get rid of him, Saga. You fucking shot me. Typical government stooge. Bro, what the fuck? I liked your commercials. Agent Young held his clipboard up to the light. The equipment was all accounted for. He ticked the boxes, satisfied. A noise on the other side of the back lot made him pause. He peered into the darkness. Nothing. Shrugging, he signed and dated the form. Estevez wanted everything ready, just in case. Young appreciated a cautious leader. Estevez had held it together even after the oldest house had gone dark. Young began to head inside. The local sheriff's station was a the tight house from control. But at least they had a coffee machine. Young felt optimistic. They even had the para-utilitarian in custody already. Another clatter behind him. Closer this time. He turned, hand on his holster. He called out to the darkness. This station has been seized by the Federal Bureau of Control. You're not authorized to be here. Suddenly, the lights flickered, went off. Young couldn't see a thing. Then from inside the station, the screams began. Now what happened? Oh, she had the profiling, right? Casey. I can tell something is wrong. What's happening to Casey? I'm a goner. Swell. A shadow crawling under my skin. In my head. Call my ex. Tell her I'm sorry. What? Terminal case, Casey. Something is wrong with him. He's hurt worse than he says. He's scared. I might have a new dialogue option with him now. Um, in fact, let's run down to him now. Just in case, because like we talk to them, some shit might go down since we talked to Alan. Wake. Fuck sleeping on the job, chat. 